guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well today is a bit of kind of a different video it's not kind of a sit down and let's chat or let me show you stuff i'm packing for my festival i'm going to board masters on wednesday today is monday so i'm gonna pack a few things and before i bring you along if you like festival sort of style videos i've created a playlist of festival makeups and i've even shown some sheen festival clothing yeah so if you're interested, please go check them out. I will link them down in the description for you. If you do enjoy this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. But without further ado, let's get on into the video. So let's start packing my makeup. So I actually got this bag recently from Primark as I wanted a bag where I could open the lid and keep my makeup inside while I'm doing my makeup. Normally I have a bag like this and then I tip my makeup all over the floor and then it's harder to see for what I'm going to use. Yeah, I'm just currently empty and that, please ignore me. But okay, so I need makeup and I need brushes. No, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put most of my makeup inside here, like the loose like foundations, contouring and all that. Put the brushes and palettes loose in here, just because it's more likely that the makeup's gonna leak. So let's start off with makeup. So I have also done a bit of shopping. I'm not taking like my most expensive things as it is a festival and I'm going to be in a tent, so I want to be careful. Um, so first, I'm going to pack the Embrolese cream, as this is perfect to moisturise and set for a perfect base. Next as primer, I'm probably going to take two. So I'm going to take the e.l.f. Hydro Grip. Hydro Grip? No, that's the milk one. I'm going to take the e.l.f. Power Grip primer. And I'm also going to take the e.l.f. Poreless Putty primer now. Both really good primers and they both do different two things. I think gripping was, I need that for the makeup to last all day. But if my pores are big, I want to cover them up. So that's going into the bag. I'm just going to work through my steps and then I'm going to like put it in. So next is foundation, or it is for me. And for this, I've actually bought a new one. So this is the Maybelline Superstay 30 hour long wear uh, foundation and the shades in 07. So this is the first time I've got 07, but I am going to be tanning. I mean, I tested it out in store and it seemed okay when I was not tanned. But I've got number five and three as well. So I'm probably going to take... See, I've got number three, but I want to take number five. I know I'm going to take number five. So those are the two different shades. They're quite similar. This just one's a bit darker. So those goes into the bag so for me the next step of my routine is concealer and i can't decide so i'm taking two uh i've got the alf camo concealer this is in the shade like fast like the lighter shade reason for this it's really good for like it's a high coverage but it is quite mattifying and drying so it's not the best but if i do want that like super highlighted look or i need something to show off the shimmer in my eyeshadow this is perfect and then I've got the Maybelline Instant Age Rewinder. And again, this is a light shade in 01. This is just a perfect concealer, hydrating, sits all day, trusty. So yes, you're coming with me. For bronzer and contour, I'm probably taking more than one product. But for bronzer and contour, this is my main product. This is the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in the shade Tan Lines. Again, super affordable, really lightweight. It's buildable, so you don't have to put loads on. But if you want more like... Sculpted, perfect. For blush, I'm really not a huge fan of like reddish blushes, as you know. So this is a uh, dirty, but it's Revolution Pro uh, blush in the shade Peaches. Just gonna give it a bit of clean before I pack it. But yeah, it's perfect for the kind of looks I'm going for. Next is brows and uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a few products. So I bought a new brow gel and I've got the NYX Gloom, the TikTok brow gloom. I've never actually tried this, but it's meant to be really good. So I might actually give you a sneak peek and let's test it now if I can open it. But I'm also going to be taking the e.l.f. brow pencil. This is an instant lift brow pencil because it's got a built-in spoolie, which is great. Because I don't want to take a separate one because I might even lose it. And then it's got a pencil on the other side. Perfect, really easy and simple. But I'm a 2016 gal and I love the dip brow pomade build the brows up and I need bold fierce brows for this festival's looks so this is coming with me too so this is the NYX uh, brow glue 
So I'm just gonna try it on one brow. I'm gonna look really weird, but brushing it through. Oh, I mean, to be honest, it's better than the W7 Brow Tamer Gel already. And then I like to use my finger. Oh yeah, like instant lift, all right. Superb, I think. Yep, going straight in the bag. Next is mascara and I've got a new one. This is the Revolution Wispy Lash Mascara. Ones like that, yeah, perfect. So that in the bag. In the bag we go. For the awesome eyeshadow looks, I'm taking the eyeshadow base. This is the P. Louise one. Now I'm gonna add in some lipstick products because we're getting pretty full and I think like my bronzer and highlighter will go better if I just sit it in the bag. So I'm gonna take the Rare Beauty Mini Highlighter because it fits in perfectly. And now let's move on to lips. So plumping lip gloss, it's a must going in the bag now we need lipsticks that's gonna last all day so nyx shine loud lipstick in the bag lasts forever my go-to everyday lip shade super glittery gloss and then lastly the lifter gloss perfect and then lastly some lip liners you both myx suede lip liners perfect for the lipsticks i've chosen so i still got some room in the bag and i'm gonna add some glitters but i'm gonna put it in a plastic bag first so i just ran up the stairs Reasons because they could leak. So the Barry M glue will go straight in. And then I've got this blue glitter pigment, a nice iridescent one, a purple one, a pink one. And this is kind of mixed green kind of one. So it's super cute. And then this is hair glitter. So it's already gel and you just put it in. Just start adding to the main bag. I'm just cleaning my mirror. So I can take that with me because I don't want a dirty mirror. But yeah, so mirror goes in first. Now eyeshadow. I think I'm just gonna take the whole palette with me. It should be all right. And it fits perfectly in the bag. Does it, does it, does it fit in? Oh, it literally just fits. I can take that palette and I'm done because it's got every color in. That palette plus this palette because this is like nudes. Whereas that one's just completely colors. Okay, now let's think we wanted bronzer and some highlighters that wouldn't fit in. And setting powder. <gasps> oh, almost forgot lash glue. My God. Let's get that in there. Otherwise, oh, that, would, that wouldn't be great at all. Lash glue can go into that other bag as well. Do you reckon I can get this in there and zip it up? No. <clears throat> it probably should show you what I'm talking about. So I'm trying to get it all in one bag because efficiency, camping, I have to carry this on my back. So all makeup in one place would be great. Um, So I packed bronzer and highlighter, but I am gonna take two other powders. This is Doll Beauty and this is the Mega Bronzer from Revolution. Next is setting powder and I'm gonna take the ALF High Definition Powder. So I got this a new setting spray. I've never actually used it. It's a super dewy fixing spray from Revolution. It's like, I think it's continuous mist. Oh, oh, that smells so good. Mm -mm -mm. So that's going in the bag. Makeup, did I need anything else? Lashes, we can add some lashes next. So I'm gonna take two Doll Beauty ones. These are the Chloe Elizabeth and then these are Selena. And then these are all the other lashes I'm taking with me. The bag is super full right now. And brushes, makeup brushes. First is like foundation, so I'm gonna take a beauty blender. Next, I'm gonna take a like Kabuki foundation brush. This one is for contouring and bronzing. One for blush, one for setting powder, one for highlighter, and then like a fluffier brush for more setting powder. So that's pretty good face brush wise. Okay, so I'm taking this smaller like buffing blending brush for the like concealer under my eye. Now let's move on to eyes. So first, staple eyebrow brush to get those perfect dip brows and like Oh, those brows are glued in place for that stuff. You should try it out. So let's think of the look. We need a fluffy brush, a kind of smaller fluffy brush, and then an even smaller fluffier brush, and then a pencil brush. And then I think that's it to be honest, but then if I get like colors on these, I might need to clean them. So I am gonna take a few extra smaller fluffy brushes. Flat brush for the shimmers, and there we are. 
or brushes acquired eyeliner i do want to add another palette in you know i do a whole palette i got a liquid liner palette but is that going to take up too much room and am i even going to be bothered to do cool stuff yeah black liquid liner super easy goes in the bag i'm taking this split liner palette so let's add that in there too and that means we need some liner brushes and i'll take these three so it's zero and one and then an extra one just in case and there we go the makeup's done mm. i'll pack outfits with you now and then i won't bore you through going through all the essentials but i guess i could show you at the end or record that as well so this is kind of weird welcome to my bedroom floor or my office kind of floor that's where i normally record but yeah, I'm going to pack some outfits now and it's just easier doing it from this angle. So it's going to be super hot, so I don't even know if I want to take these. But I think I'm going to take them just in case the weather changes. So I'm going to start with the cow outfit. Oh, I can like put an image on screen as I'm packing because you guys don't know. It's the cow bucket hat, like it's going to be hot. It doesn't even have to go with the outfit, you know. And lastly, the pink top, which goes with it, which is inside out. But So there's one outfit. So... This is the marble green, like, halter neck dress. So, super easy outfit. There's another one. Next dress um, is the ruched one. Ruched one shoulder dress. <gasps> it is ruched on one, both sides, and I didn't realise. When I did it in the video, I only thought it was ruched on one, but it's on both. That would make it look so much nicer than that toy would. So yeah, that's like a marble effect dress. So that's three outfits, but one I'm not sure about. Now this is the outfit I was a bit unsure of. It's the mesh bodysuit, like on the side. But I got great feedback, like it blew up on my TikTok account. So this is, yes, yes, that's all I'm saying. So that's three, maybe one, four, three, maybe four. Actually, no, can't forget the bag, that belt next is the neon top which is yellow it's not green so this top will go with the these shorts with the buckles so the outfit i did want to pack is actually in the wash currently i mean i've got one more day so i'll wash it tomorrow and then take it with me but the plan is fishnet tights i've got this one here and i've also got the ones like with the bigger holes, I'm taking them both because you know how easily they rip. And then I wear that with black shorts, then a, like a bright blue kind of bodysuit. So that is the clothes kind of pack. So I'm also going to show you just some of the cool accessories I have. I'm sat at my makeup table, so much better lighting, especially in the evening. So first, glasses, going to pack these. I just feel like I should be on Love Island with these sort of glasses. Do you know what I mean? Extra AF. Then we have these little flame number. These are actually from Amazon. These aren't like really useful because like you put them up here and you look, I don't know. I don't like them so much, but if you like have them at the end of your nose and kind of pose, they're quite cute. What do you think? And then I have these, like the filter glasses. Just awesome. I don't know, I think glasses is my only accessory because I don't like jewelry. I had my ears pierced ages ago, but they're like closed up. By ages ago, I mean like when I was seven. So I don't know if you saw my last video that I did some hairstyles. This is like one of them actually, I think it's quite cute. So we've got these neon bands to create some of those looks. Basic hair bands need to be packed. And a scrunchie for those nighttime sleep to get it out of my hair neck so i don't sweat in the stuffy tent hairbrush essential and then this little comb here so this is perfect for like sectioning your hair off creating your pie in this is my boyfriend's right set then we've got a tent camping chair we've got a double sleeping bag super extra don't mind the dirt, clean clothes i need to put them away this is my rucksack, and then here you got a pink camping chair. Those are essential camping statements, like, to be able to survive. But uh, so far, I've been obsessed with makeup and outfits. Probably not the best priority, but hey-ho, we carry on. And I've got the essentials here, like sun cream, after sun, plasters, like blister plasters. This is like fake Barocca from Audi, just to wake us up, hand sanitizer allergy tablets, paracetamols. I'm just gonna pack that now and kind of create a first aid kit. More accessories. Also, I got a lovely bucket hat here. And obviously just a basic cap 
like so just to protect myself from the sun because it's going to be like 27 degrees oh it's gonna be hot there's toiletries so i've got body sprays shampoo conditioner sun cream after scum micellar water deodorant toothpaste shower gel still need to add to toothbrushes and whatever my boyfriend wants but I think that's all I can do tonight because I still need to wash some clothes. I just need to like organize things a bit more. But I'll show you. I'll try to pick up with you tomorrow about the other bits that I've done. So yeah, see you tomorrow. Hey, so it's currently Tuesday at like half nine. And I'm off tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. Haven't done much packing today. Been busy with work and just running errands. So time to pack the last few bits. I've already packed another bag with my underwear and like sleeping clothes and like lounging about clothes. I've now washed one of my last outfits, which I wanted to show you yesterday, but I'll show you now. So if you remember, I showed you the fishnets and I've got a blue bodysuit. It's quite, it's quite a basic outfit, quite simple. So here's the blue bodysuit and then some black shorts to go with that and with the fishnets. And then I can have a cool kind of funky makeup design. Yeah, sorry about the lighting, that's um, it's my laptop screen changing colour there and all that. I'm just going to pack the rest of these and I'm going to pack my accessories and then I can start filling up the rucksack. So I got this bum bag, which is essential, like going into the main arena. Don't want to carry stuff. I can put like my wallet, glasses, little water bottle, all of that in there. I've actually like run out of like bags that I can put stuff in to pack. So I'm going to be reusing a sheen bag to pack all my accessories. I almost forgot to pack my gems and the applicator and then I can just use eyelash glue for this. Luckily I checked my list and then I remembered to pack that so I'm just going to add that into my makeup case as well. So finally finished packing I think. I think we got everything all together. Let me just show you. So this is my boyfriend's rucksack. This is mine. It's got our like clothes, makeup, toiletries, sleeping bags and then down here actually got like food and alcohol because we're actually allowed to take like 24 cans each so that's what's in the bag then we've got a blow up bed a tent and then like two camp chairs and just ignore that mess there yeah seems like a crazy amount of stuff but we are gonna be there for like five days so it does make sense but it's my first festival so it still feels a bit odd so i'm really tired and i look like a mess and it's like midnight and i'm leaving tomorrow at 9 a.m so i think i'm gonna call this video here thank you so much for watching my first kind of vlog style video i hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it please subscribe and like this video as my next video will be a vlog of boardmasters thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video and i'll see you next tuesday bye guys